Welcome to another episode of Stay Sprung, and today I'm going to take a look at my latest pickup in addition to my collection, the Rolex Submariner. Introduced in 1953, then some 30 years later, the first bimetal steel and yellow gold version was released. This Submariner reference 116613 LB has the upgraded ceramic bezel and super case. This model features a glide lock clasp with 20 millimeters of adjustment for wetsuits and also featuring the Rollister bracelet which is steel on the sides and polished 18 karat yellow gold down the center. The standard oyster bracelet from Rolex is 18 karat yellow gold polished center links and brushed 904L steel outer links. On the case we have polished sides and crown guards as well as an 18 karat polished crown. This model features the super case with an 18 karat yellow gold bezel with sharp edges for purchasing while wearing gloves, a single loom dot at 12 o'clock, and most importantly, we have the ceramic insert which won't wear or fade due to UV exposure over time as seen on some of its predecessors. And the ceramic is also much more scratch resistant. The indexes on the bezel are milled out and filled with platinum and not the usual 18 karat gold, which I believe is a nice contrasting complement to the yellow gold and matches the 904 steel. I went with the eye-catching blue sunburst dial with 18 karat hands as well as indexes in 18 karat gold. This piece screams retro and reminds me of the all gold 11618 from 1969. Super iconic and a Wolf of Wall Street yacht party type of feeling. So that's why I had to have it. If you like the content, hit the thumbs up and comment below with your thoughts on the watch. And oh yeah, stay sprung.